I've tried many anti-aging gadgets and devices over the years, but there are only a few that I've stuck with and incorporate into my skincare routine. And happily, my favorite is the cheapest of all of them. It's the easiest to incorporate into my routine. It doesn't need charging. It can be taken anywhere. It's quick and painless to use. And yet I think it really delivers in terms of helping keep skin toned and slowing skin aging. So today I'm gonna to share how I use the Humble Face Roller and just why it can help skin look firm and radiant. So I've been using a facial roller off and on now for probably about five years and I started using it daily around a year ago, having become more convinced that it was one of the best tools that I have. The more I learned about skin health, the more obvious it became that this is a no brainer if you're looking for a tool that can genuinely do multiple things to support your skin as it ages. And for me, a simple roller can be just as effective as countless overpriced anti-aging tools on the market, and some of which could actually do more harm than good. There are only a few modalities that I use alongside the roller, and they are red light, so I use a panel every other day. I use the Nera Pro laser on alternate days, and I also have a zip microcurrent device, which I'll use a few evenings a week. So it's only the facial roller that I use every single day, and I take it on holiday with me and if I had to pack a few essentials to take to a desert island tomorrow it would definitely be in the bag. For its ease, simplicity and effectiveness it's my favourite device. So I use a solid metal roller from 111 Skin. I'll link it in the description. It has four rotating rollers and I just love how this particular device is designed to hug the skin. So you get a small amount of grip on it, which I think helps with blood flow because it's gently manipulating the skin and you can see the skin flushing from the increased blood flow, which is key to its effectiveness. And why do we want to get more blood flowing to the skin, particularly as we age? Well, our blood delivers nutrients and oxygen to skin cells and they play a big role in maintaining the health and fabric of our skin, including producing the collagen and elastin we hear so much about. And by keeping these cells well supplied, we help them to function optimally. And when we start massaging the skin, we stimulate our blood vessels, which causes them to dilate or widen and allow more blood to flow through. Massage also stimulates your sebaceous glands. So those glands that produce the oil that helps hydrate and protect our skin. So I think it's a really important but simple thing we can include in our skincare routines. And as we age, our circulation becomes more challenged and you get less blood supply to the skin and that creates a higher risk for certain skin conditions. So anything we can do to improve our circulation in general as we age is a great idea. And that's also why keeping active, eating a healthy diet and staying well hydrated is important too. And it's part of the reason I like to use heat therapy regularly. You'll find more info on that below too. And why I use a microcurrent device because both improve blood supply to the skin. And I don't believe you need to splash out on expensive devices to get the benefits of facial massage. You can even use your hands at the end of the day. But I like the control and level of pressure I get from my metal roller. And that's why it's turned into my number one tool. An added bonus is it can help reduce puffiness by supporting lymphatic drainage because you're breaking up the pooled fluid and helping it drain through the lymph nodes. So how do I use my roller? Well, I mentioned that this is a daily ritual for me now. And so when I come out of the shower first thing, I'll usually apply a hydrating serum. At the moment, I'm using one called Aonia, which I've reviewed on the channel, so I'll link to that below if you're interested in taking a look. But the idea is really just to apply something that allows for a little more ease of movement. And I follow the general advice for using roller devices, which is to move it in sweeping movements from the neck up to the jaw to begin with. I spend a bit of time under the chin, but I avoid the Adam's apple and thyroid areas. And as I work my way around, I'll do a few sweeps on each area until I see a little flushing on my skin. And that's when I know it's time to move on. So once I've done my neck, I just keep working my way up 
my face, you know, rolling the device along my jawline, starting at my chin and moving upwards towards my ear. I do above the lips and even my nose because it too can benefit from a circulation boost. And then you can uh, sculpt those cheekbones, moving outwards from the nose to your ear. And finally, I sweep up from just under my brows to my hairline again until I see a little flushing on the skin. And all in all, it usually takes me just over three minutes. It's relaxing. It's a nice way to start the day. And I believe a, a roller is a really useful tool for improving the look and feel of your skin and helping keeping it toned. Something like a jade roller or a gua sha stone is also a great idea, but just be careful of those fakes. So they don't have to be expensive, but if you go too cheap, then you could end up with something that's pretty lightweight and not the real deal and therefore won't last. So that applies to both the jade stones as well as the metal used in the rollers like the one I have. They should feel solid so there's a bit of weight to them and they shouldn't rust or scratch. The real deal rollers should feel cold to the touch and cool down quickly after use. I don't keep mine in the fridge, but I keep it on our stone counter so it's nice and cool when I use it each morning. And at 51, it's a part of my skincare regimen that aims to keep my skin hydrated, maintain tone and volume, and generally try to slow down the signs of skin aging. So I will link below to a couple of related videos on facial massage using your hands and a toning technique for the neck as well. And you'll find the roller there that I use along with a couple of other options and discount codes where I have them too. But do let me know in the comments if you use a massage tool that you think works particularly well because we learn best from each other. You'll find more advice and information from me around how to age well, look and feel good for longer on my website, honest.scott. And there's a link in the description where you can sign up to my free monthly newsletter and I round up all my latest content in it so you don't miss a thing. But for now, thank you for being here for this short episode today and I'll see you next time. Bye.